Accra Ghana vs Lagos Nigeria, which city is most beautiful? Ghana, officially the Republic of Ghana, is a sub-Saharan African Republic. It borders the Ivory Coast in the west, Burkina Faso in the north, and Togo in the east, and extends across the Gulf of Guinea and the Atlantic Ocean to the south. Ghana's capital city is Accra. As of 2020, the city's expected urban population is 4.2 million. Ghana's capital, Accra, is the country's most densely inhabited metropolis. It is regarded as one of Africa's most expensive cities. This is owing to an increase in the cost of rent and lodging in recent years. Accra boasts numerous impressive infrastructures and facilities, making the city a sight to behold. There are numerous tourist attractions in the city. Lagos, Nigeria's and Africa's most populated city, is one of the continent's most important financial centers. This city has Africa's fourth highest GDP and one of the continent's largest and busiest seaports. It is also regarded as one of the world's fastest expanding cities. Lagos boasts Nigeria's tallest skyline. Lagos has a wide range of architectural styles. Lagos is home to a plethora of attractive infrastructure and facilities. This metropolis has the potential to become one of the world's most developed cities over time. In this video, we'll look at two of Africa's most popular cities. Accra and Lagos are these two lovely cities. On the basis of infrastructure, cost of living, tourism, food, and nightlife, a comparison will be made to see which city is more beautiful and developed. Infrastructural Development Accra Ghana's economy has been growing steadily for the past two decades, with improvements in practically every sector of the economy. The economy has grown as a result of a decrease in poverty rates, which now stand at 24.3%, a decline of 4.2 percentage points from the previous rate. Despite these gains, the economy continues to be plagued by gaps in both economic and social infrastructure, which has slowed the rate of acceleration in the economy. Lagos Lagos Governor Akinwanmi Ambode has made infrastructure rehabilitation a priority for his administration. The governor has commissioned no fewer than 10 infrastructure projects in the previous two months, which has fueled the momentum. The most recent are four highways in the state's Ikoi, Eddie Osa local government area, Thompson Avenue, Milverton, McDonald, and Latif Jackin Roads were among the restored roads that were commissioned as part of initiatives to regenerate infrastructure across the state. Because of the economic importance of Ikoi as a real estate hub, the governor indicated during the inauguration of the road projects that his government began infrastructural renewal and rehabilitation of the roads and drainage projects inside the Axis in July 2020. He went on to say that the inauguration demonstrates his government's commitment to providing strong infrastructure and improving inhabitants' living conditions. Cost of Living Accra The cost of living will vary significantly between places and lifestyles, as it does in most countries. Accra is the most costly city to stay in. Some development agencies offer a monthly rent allowance of $3,000 for a house or apartment but this is insufficient. If you are young, healthy, and flexible, and do not require the Western way of life, you can live for less money. You can live quite cheaply if you don't mind living without air conditioning, without power for large periods of the day, in a neighborhood with some noise and dust, no official security, and so on. Another option is to share housing with others. Dividing the rent of a three-bedroom apartment in three equals roughly $1,200 per month for each of you. Unfortunately, landlords now need a one-year advance payment. Furthermore, certain living expenditures are exorbitant. For example, electricity just increased by 75%, and you may have to pay for water to be trucked to your home during the dry season. Lagos The cost of living in Lagos varies depending on where you want to live, However, living on the mainland is often less expensive than living on the island. House rent in Ajaj, Ashodi, Sarular, Aicha, Yaba, Ketu, Ikordu, Ajadu Berger can range from 350,000 to 600,000 naira per year, while those in Ekoi, Leki, Aja, Victoria Island, and its environs can cost millions. However, there are still areas on the mainland where individuals pay annual house rents of around 3 million naira. 
It all depends on whether you want luxurious or simple housing. Also, you don't have to spend a fortune to feed yourself and your family. All you need to know is how to trim your coat to fit your size. Supermarkets, restaurants, and local markets all have a wide variety of foods to choose from. Tourism Accra Accra is a bustling modern city with wonderful food on the streets and a beach waiting to cool you down. From a bustling local cultural scene with everything from traditional song and dance to sophisticated clubs with the newest live music, you'll find all you need. Traditional crafts as well as cutting-edge contemporary fashions can be found. The city's Dutch, British, and Danish influences mingle with its West African heritage to create an unforgettable experience. Visit the Ghana National Museum, the Accra Arts Center for Artists and Crafts, and the Queen Nkrumah Memorial Park and Mausoleum. Bojo Beach and Labadi Beach are just two of the several beaches in the Accra area that provide clear seas and sports like horseback riding and surfing. Lagos Because of the country's diverse ethnic groups, tourism in Nigeria focuses primarily on events, although it also contains rainforests, savanna, waterfalls, and other natural features. Tourist spending in Nigeria fell from $26 billion in 2015 to $15 billion in 2017, owing to the rise of the Boko Haram insurgency in 2015. Lagos is progressively becoming a prominent tourist destination as a result of a remodernization project carried out by the previous administration of Governor Raji Babatun Fashola. It is one of the largest cities in Africa and the globe. Lagos is in the process of becoming a global city. The 2009 Io Carnival, which took place on April 25, was a significant step toward world city designation for the city. Lagos is currently known for being a business-oriented and fast-paced city. Cuisine and Nightlife Accra Accra, Ghana has a lot to offer visitors, but for those who want a good time, the nightlife scene is a real treat. The vibrant nightlife scene offers a fusion of African and European cultures. Accra has something for everyone, whether you're searching for a low-key lounge with an intimate atmosphere or a high-octane night out on the town. The Zen Garden, Inside Carbon Nightclub, and Champs Sports Bar and Grill, to mention a few, are all located here. Ghanaian cuisine has mastered the skill of transforming ordinary materials into sublime delicacies that have become permanent fixtures in the Ghanaian diet. It's no surprise that chefs all over the world are praising their brilliant Ghanaian brothers and sisters for stepping up their culinary game and serving up dishes that are as gorgeous as they are delectable. Lagos Nigerian cuisine is rich and colorful, with spices and strong chili peppers, and visitors who want a taste of the country's cuisine should try jollof, rice cooked with tomato, onion, and pepper, akara, deep-fried bean cakes, banga, a palm fruit-based soup, or moi moi, fried fish, a steamed bean pudding, with a variety of posh, casual, fast food, and street vendor alternatives. Eating out in Lagos offers not just variety in ethnic and foreign cuisine, but also pricing and quality. The Victoria and Lagos Islands, as well as the Lekki Peninsula, have the most fashionable and recognized eateries. Lagos has firmly established itself as Nigeria's nightlife capital, with pulsing nightclubs, late-night bars, and live music venues. The nightlife scene in the city tends to start late in the evening and last until the sun rises, with most clubs filling up around 11 p.m. Victoria Island and Ikoi are two of Lagos' most popular nightlife locations. There are a couple of wonderful bars on the mainland of Lagos, but they are exclusively for the more daring, as safety is not guaranteed. Pool parties are held at a few upscale hotels and are a terrific way to beat the heat while taking in the Lagos nightlife. Awolowo Road attracts a large number of dining and late-night drinkers, while Pat's Place attracts Nigeria's resident expat population. Lagos, Nigeria's largest city, stretches inland over the Lagos Lagoon from the Gulf of Guinea. The financial core of the city, Victoria Island, is known for its beach resorts, boutiques, and nightlife. Ghana's capital, Accra, is located on the Atlantic coast of West Africa. These significant cities are among Africa's most populous. Thank you for tuning in. 
If you enjoyed this video, please consider sharing it, subscribing to the channel, and turning on the notify button to receive future updates and do not forget to like this video.